Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Now tonight's pour is going to be a car themed one. It's a Hot Wheels. And it's coinciding with a very popular movie in the United States right now, Barbie. So this is a 656 Corvette, pink and white. And um, so I found this and uh, I've noticed that most of mine are muscle cars and kind of more masculine things. So not too many, I don't have too many for what a lot of people uh, do ask me at shows. Do you have anything for girls? Cause most of it is geared towards boys. I mean, I'm a, I'm a boy. Uh, well, I'm a boy trapped in a man's body. Uh, but that's here or there. Um, but so it's, it's a lot, a lot of times it's the, just the things that I like. And so, uh, yeah, it is geared kind of more towards the male, um, person. I might get a lot of flack from the politically correct people, but oh well. So I have done a few things. Um, I did a frozen one for my granddaughter. Um, I did a unicorn one, I've done a horse one. So it's, some things have been, but it's very limited. So I saw this and I thought, oh, I could do one that would, a little girl would like, or even a big girl. I don't care which one. So I saw it, I grabbed it and said, hey, I need to do one for, you know, another demographic, I guess you could say. So I found the Barbie car, which... I think is kind of hard to find, but I found one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a pink background. I mean, this thing is going to be pink out the wazoo. So I actually have this, it's actually a light magenta, but it's very pinkish. That's by master's touch. And then I'm going to use artist loft white. Now I actually am thinking about possibly putting some, Master's Touch, some gold in it, pearlized bright gold. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I mixed the gold already because I've mixed all the paints. I've mixed the gold already. And while I was mixing it, I was thinking, oh yeah, this gold is going to go in here, but I don't know if it'll really work. What I'm going to do is I've got the pink already down on the, the light magenta, the pink down on the canvas already. So all I'm going to do is add some white. And then I'm going to see how it looks and then if it needs some gold. And if it needs some gold, I've got gold already mixed up. I can use it. So that's what we're going to do. So my suggestion is that you stick around for the rest of this video to see if I use any gold. Let me adjust the camera and we can get started. All right. As you can see, the pink is down. It's very pink, 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 pink. So we've got our white. I have... Uh, white always mixed up in a squirt bottle here. Now the car, I'm taking that out of the packaging, is a lot lighter pink, but that's all right. Yeah, this is going to be very pink, pink, pink. So I'm going to do some white, and I kind of am going to do a lot of white because that's not too many colors. So we want to get some white. Where are we going going out there? A little dried paint right there. Let me get that off of there. And then we've got some extra pink here, light magenta on the outside here. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's do a little torching. Let's see if we need some gold in this or not. I don't know if I 
need it or not, but I'm going to add some more white in there. I need to get some more in there. fall in the painting. See what the torch will do. Alright. I think I'm just going to add just a tad bit of gold, not a whole lot. I always say that and then I add too much. But let's see what it does. I need just a little bit. Right down the middle. Maybe just a little bit more. Something, something on there. All right. I think I won't tinker with that anymore. We'll let this dry. And then we can get, get it resin and place that car on there. And I think we'll have a really good piece. All right. So this is dried. I do like the gold in here. So we have our car. We're going to put it right there. So it kind of has that white around the car itself. It's going to cover up some of that gold, but that'll be all right. So we have a 10 by 20 canvas. We're doing seven ounces of resin. This is prom Promise Epoxy. Three and a half of the hardener, three and a half of the epoxy. 
for seven ounces, and that's all it takes to do this size canvas. And if you're ever wondering, how do I know that that's the correct amount? There is a calculator online. Art, I go to Art Resin Calculator. You type in the canvas, and it'll tell you the total amount of resin. Now it's the total. So a two gallon or a, a kit comes in two parts: epoxy and the hardener. So you need to split that total amount in two for each one. And that's what we that's what we do on these. Yes, yes, yes. I kind of wish it was eight ounces because it's a little bit easier because the cup I use only goes, it goes two, four, six, eight instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you kind of have to guess in the middle, but I'm pretty close. I've done it enough. I, I think I'm getting it pretty close. Start popping these bubbles. respirator which I don't and um, I really don't mind the smell too much it's not that bad of a smell but tonight um, I'm doing a piece with a, a bottle of fingernail polish and uh, I'm draining the fingernail polish out of the bottle and it, it is just overtaking this room the smell mm. So I need to get done quickly. All right, I think I've got all the bubbles. So we're gonna replace that in there, right there. And there we have it. We have a Barbie, a very pinkish, oh, very pink painting. Let me know what you think. I think this turned out pretty good if I got the other pink too dark didn't match the car all that well but i'm all right with that i wanted it a little darker and then i added the gold just so it's not pink and white but i do like the gold in there so let me know if you'd like it too hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching